In this video I will be teaching you the basics of advanced editor. When you open advanced editor, you can see three tabs, spherical minip, move spline node, and rotate spline node. I will be looking at their difference later in the video. Under the tabs, we have auto smooth options, and they work like this. Snap length and rotate works like this. Snap node to grid, this button allows to connect the track piece to the closest part of the grid, so you can use basic editor again. On the right, we have track feature settings, that just change the track when building, normal, brakes, chain lift, etc. Then we have the building button that builds the track. By pressing the reset node button, the track will reset back to its original two blocks long straight form. This pivot offset slider controls the heart line of the coaster, here are three examples. Ok, back to the three tabs, they all do mostly the same thing, but in a different way. But in all of the tabs, you move the track by dragging the colored spheres or white arrows. This is how to make smooth transitions. There is two ways to make inversions, if you are new, I would recommend the first one, 